Today we're going to be replacing the screwless Lippert window and the new Valor. We're getting ready for our first camping trip this morning, so apologies for the quality of this video. I'm shooting this by myself, but we've got the AP Products Thin Shade. Um, and the big thing I want to show is how to deal with the screwless Lippert frame um, without buying the $40 Magic Toolkit from Lippert. So get your butter knives ready. Here we go. So the problem with this Lippert guy is that there are no screws to speak of. I was expecting a really simple install, but it's got these kind of funny clips in them. Um, and so watch a couple of videos and people all seem to have the kits. Um, they were actually still breaking the tabs either on this side or on the other side of the window, uh, even with the kit. So what I found was that a butter knife is actually about the ideal size to get in here, thanks to a, a post that I'll link below. Um, so anyway, I've already done one and replaced it with the shade so we can have a little bit of privacy at night. And uh, we're about to get this one going. Um, the original video recommended using clothespin hangers, which I would have used, um, except I didn't have enough. So um, I'm gonna be using my children's magnet house. So we'll see how it goes. There are 16 of these tiny little slots. Basically, you want to insert until you kind of feel it click and you can get a little bit of relief. Um, I start on the corner on the other one, and that seemed to have worked out pretty well for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the three on the bottom, sort of get this a little bit loose. What I found is you might have to sort of hit them multiple times to get them real good but the knife should slide right in there and then once you've got enough space you can sort of get things started so if you're curious what you're actually doing with your butter knife you can see the slot right there so all you're doing is going in and spreading those fingers and working this guy out and that's why the spacers are important so you can just continue working around the whole edge, keep backing it out, backing it out, until it finally slips out. So that's how this guy works. Get your first magnet tile in. And then from there, just start working your way around the edge. And it looks like we're gonna need a bigger ladder. important to have enough of these. All right, so now we've got sort of everything unlocked once. What I found was that you have to kind of unlock it a second time with the butter knife. Um, it'll start raining some magnetiles, but we should be good to go. All right, so this side's pretty much out. And so now we can just keep hitting where the grooves were, kind of keep working these locks out. There you have it. So at this point, um, let's get some tape. I should have actually done that first. Make sure this glass doesn't fall while we pull this out. There's gonna be caulking all the way around on the other side that um pretty sticky on this brand new unit so we'll uh get going on that so again here the mission is really we just don't want the glass to fall back onto us as we're pushing out it's not going to fall forward this way um, as we're coming out but we don't want it to fall down and hit the ground on us so not really a weak point that I can find. Um, so we're gonna go back in with our trusty butter knife and see if we can get it started up here in the corner.
All right. There's our hole. There you go. Again, no damage to anything on the old window. So uh, this will end up on Facebook Marketplace if anybody's looking for one. So at this point, this is the inside frame. So we'll go in that way and we've got the glass on the other side. We're gonna clean up um, where the old seal was around there first. Just using some Windex for this. two pre-installed gaskets one for up against the camper and one for the glass the glass wasn't sitting on it so i just kind of realigned it and pushed it down on there i'm going to do the same tape on the outside here make sure it doesn't fall back on us once we get it up there um, but we're ready to start putting her in so the next thing we've got to do is actually install the blind it doesn't come pre-installed but there are some holders uh, in here that just kind of snaps into. It's important to get this in the right place and get this the right side up. It's not necessarily super intuitive, but basically um, the thick part would be the top so that you can hide your blind when it's all the way up. And so all you do is take these guys and snap them in here. See if I can do that standing up here. This is really a two person job, but we're gonna make it happen. All right, and it should curve with the uh, curves of the blind in case that's not obvious. All right, cool. So we've got a shade, we've got glass. Let's go uh, stick it together. All right, I'm going to put this in first because it does have a little bit of tackiness and uh, I think it'll stay. If not, we'll be by another window. Side note, uh, unlevel driveway, not the best decision for where to do this. One other thing, the, there's a mark on the tempered glass, that's the bottom. So hindsight, a little bit of tape here, but you do need to know that it will show through on the outside glass, so probably some packing tape, which I don't have. That's it. Let's go check it out. So, you know, from the outside, no real difference. But from the inside, a little tough with one hand. There we go. There we go. Blacked out. So overall, um, when you're on level ground, uh, pretty easy job. Here on the driveway of debris, not so easy. So thanks for tuning in.